الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى One, two, four, nine. One, two, four, nine. Uh, Reading one two four nine talks about إذا كان له رأس ماله مئة دينار. Now again for the business, business capital of investment, you have like one hundred euro. One hundred euro, it is your capital of investment. From this one hundred euro, <clears throat> obviously we are talking about once upon a time where. Where in 100 euro you can hire a shop, you can hire, maybe this this example can be implemented somewhere in Senegal or Mali or some poor countries where you can still hire a, a shop for one euro or two euro. So if somebody hired a shop, rented a shop, okay, rented a shop, <clears throat> so if somebody rented a shop, or hired a shop for 10 euros. So this is the rent money. It is going away. Remember, capital of investment, the, the Islamic legislative system respects it. So the Islam, Islamic legislative system wants you to secure your capital of investment, which is comes paid. And we discussed this previously. <clears throat> so let's say, let's say this person he rented out a shop. He had a capital of investment for 100 euro. He rented, rented out, rented in. He, he took a, a, a lease of a shop in 10 euros. And then he decorated the place and uh, 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 made it ready for business. Okay, for 10 more euros. So how many euros? 10 euros were for hiring, leasing. 10 euros were for equip, equipments and all those things he needs in the shop. At the end of the year, he found that he had 100. He had 100 euro, okay? Savings, <coughs> income. <coughs> so he found that at the end of the year, he had 100 euros of saving. Okay, so what should we do here? So what should we do the homes? Remember, your capital of investment, the money that goes away from your capital, like fees, rents, workers, bills, uh, whatever you pay, um, for the something which is which doesn't have a substitute. Remember that word substitute we used. Doesn't have a substitute. Okay, it, it's gone. So we will say <clears throat> that rent is gone, fees gone, everything. So 10 euros are gone. How much you had? 100 euro. 10 euros are gone. Rent. 10 euros were equipments. Correct? Now those equipments. Are they there or they are done, finished, deteriorated? So they are there, obviously. So we will say you have to pay the homes of the equipments because they are there. They are there. So the amount, 10 euros, which is in your saving. So basically, in general, 10 euros are not exempt <clears throat> of, the, of the equipments in the, in the shop. 10 euros, which is gone, they are exempt. So how much you had at the end of the year? 90 euros, okay? 90 euros was. So in this case, you are going to pay the homes of the, <clears throat> no, 10, 100 euro. But 10 euro, we took it out. We said this 100 euros are going to come back to your, uh, your, your, your uh, capital of investment, rents, then the total wealth, so we are, we are talking about, he started from 100 wealth, 100 euro. At the end of the year, the total was 100 euro. 
not the income, no, the total with the income. All what he had was 100 euro. So now, <clears throat> from this 100 euro, 90 euro, uh, 80 euros are his remaining, his saving. Comsa is exempt. He paid the homes of it, okay? So 20 euros were spent. 10 euros, they went away. So that means in this 100 euro, you got income, 10 euros. You got income. So now 90 euros. So the, your, your capital of investment was 80 because you spent 20, 10 for rent, 10 for equipment. Now you saw you have 100. So what does that mean? That means you have recovered the capital of investment, which you paid rents. We say we are, that's exempt. You don't have to pay the hooks of it. So what about the, the other 10? Because I have 100 euro at the end of the year. I started with 100 euro. I spent 100 euro, uh, 20 euros. So it's supposed to be, I, so I'm supposed to have 80 euros remaining. Okay, 80 euros remaining. But I have 100 euros remaining. That means I was able to recover the 10 euros of rents and 10 euros of equipment. So he says 10 euros of rents, you're exempt. Okay, it went away. 10 euros of equipment, you have to pay the homes of it. Why? Because the equipment are there. The, the substitute is there. It's not gone away. So that's why you pay her. Yes, if the... <clears throat> If the value of those equipments has gone down, okay, those, those equipments were 10 euros last, but now the market value is eight euros. Okay, no problem. So two euros exempt, eight euros you are going to pay the homes. Okay, so two euros, which the deficit value also, because it's gone away. So anything goes away from your capital of investment, which was paid, homes paid, you can recover it from your income and that will be homes exempt to patch up your capital of investment and bring it back to as it was. So deficits are covered, rents are covered, but things which are available, they are not recovered. They are not recovered. Here, <clears throat> so now, so that was the bullet number one. He found out his wealth, well, uh, his, his wealth with the amount of 100 euro. Then he would pay the homes of equipments only, which are available, obviously, 10 euros. But the, the other, <clears throat> and, uh, other 10 euros, which, which is there, uh, they are new because he has equipments. So, so they are considered equipments money, but no, since the equipments are there, pay the homes of it. Uh, you have the right, as we mentioned previously, to take the... Uh, to recover the deficit also. <laughs> we said, you don't have to pay the homes of the rent of the shop because it was from the expenses spent in business to gain income. Remember, whatever you spent to gain income from the capital of investment is exempt and you can recover it because it's paid normally. And similarly, the wages of the guard, the labor worker, okay, the people who are working, the amount pays to ta uh, the uh, and the labor worker. Wajrat al hamal, wal daraib, amount paid, uh, government taxes. Yes, so it's, in English is back and forth. So yes, the so government taxes, taxes which you pay to the government, they're gone money, okay, they're not going to come back. <clears throat> what is the surkufli? Is it a curse or something like that? No. Sar is head. It's a Persian name. What does that mean? That means I have a shop. Okay. The shop has, I have a contract. I can pay the rent of my shop as long as I want. I have a 10 years contract. So there's a guy, he wants to take my shop. Okay. As rent. So I will tell him, okay, give me 100,000 euro. He said, but the shop rent is 1,000 euro. I said, well, you want me to evacuate? Give me this money. I have the right. I have the right because you can't go to the, to the owner because owner cannot kick me out. I have a contract. You want me to transfer my contract to you? Okay, 
you give me this much. If you're in desperate need of this shop, I have the right to ask you to give me 100,000 euro. The shop is, this is what happens. Sometimes <laughs> the mom is a, there's not enough material inside the, the shop, which is worth off. They come to us and they say, is it halal? Well, <laughs> this is circle of here. And if, they, if you want that shop desperately, and he's asking you, even if the shop was empty, he, he, you are paying him to evacuate the shop for you. <clears throat> so it's not your ownership. There's an owner. You're going to pay the rent of it. But you are evacuating. So you are, you, he's paying you to evacuate. This is Sir Qufliya. Okay, in Arabic, they call it Khulu. So all these, like you pay for the Sir Qufliya, it's gone, like, unless if you are able to regain that. Okay? So, Ila Hukuma, what's Sir Qufliya? Allati yadfa'u lil husul ala dukkan. The, the, the payment to get, uh, uh, <clears throat> what did I say? The tax take over the lease. Okay, the amount paid to take over the lease of the shop, or the shop, lease of the shop. Uh, and the taxes paid, all these expenses are exempt from homes. What does that mean? At the end of the year, you can recover these exempt, this amount from your capital of investment if paid from your capital of investment. And you will not be obligated to pay it. Okay. Uh, so if, if the khums was over these expenses, so you can recover basically your capital of investment if you spent to pay these. And you can recover it and then pay the khums of whatever is remaining. Now, as I mentioned, sarqufliya, the khilu, or the evacuation money. Now you got the shop from me. Now tomorrow, if you're going to sell the shop, you can also get the sarqufliya back from the third owner. So if it was a right, like many countries, they have rented house, okay? And they consider them the house of property. It's, it's just sarqufliya. You have given them money, that they have the leverage over the house. And once they leave, somebody has to give them the money so that evacuate. Otherwise, the owner cannot evac evac evacuate them, okay? Uh, they, the, the owner cannot kick them out. Why? Because they have an agreement. Because they have paid this much amount. So as long as they stay, their contract of lease is renewed, renewed, renewed. And they, they have the right to lease it to someone else because they have kept a lot of money inside it. So that's why the owner backs off, says, okay, you can lease it to somebody else, get our permission, but uh, you can take the money. So if the surk of Liyah was like in some countries, in a way that it, 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 it secures right for you to get it back, then you have to evaluate that and take the homes out of it because it's available. It's not gone. Sir Khufli is gone, you can regain it from your recovery. If it's not gone, you have to pay the homes of it because it's your savings. Okay, it's like you have, you have saved it in a bank or something. So you have saved it with somebody else. So, so that is your, your money you have purchased. So, or the, or the previous one, paid to the owner or anyone else had established a right to recover it. So if it had established a right to recover it, like it was recoverable for someone else who would lease the shop after him, for, so you can recover it from someone else who, who would recover uh, uh, lease the shop from you. Uh, or the owner would return it <clears throat> like deposit. Many houses or many shops, you give deposit. So when you leave, the owner gives it back to you if there's no problem in the house. Then it would be obligated to estimate the, uh, the value of that right, that you, you have the right uh, to regain it, recover it, the surk of liya, uh, like 100,000 euros we paid at the end of the year and pay the homes of it. How much is surk of liya? Okay, so it is this much evaluated how much is worth of your house or your shop if you lease it to someone else how much will be will it be hundred thousand will it be more will it be less so you evaluate that 
and you pay according to its market value. <clears throat> if there was increase from 100,000, okay? So uh, otherwise you have paid from your capital of investment. فَرُبَّمَا تَزِيدُ قِيمَتُهُ عَلَى مِقْدَارِ مَا دَفْعُ So might, uh, uh, and the estimated value might be more than what was paid to gain the right of the lease or less or even equal to. So it depends. If it was more, then you pay the homes of it. If less, no homes. Equal, no homes. But, but it is secured. So, so, we, if, so what if, let's say, my surkhoflia um, uh, was 50,000 euro and I got, got benefits at the end of the year, 50,000 euro. So will I homes it or not, this 15,000, 50,000? If my 50,000 is secured, can be regained, then you, the 50,000 at the end of the year you'll pay because I have the substitute, which I paid from my capital of investment. I have it, in a, it has a value. However, in some countries, no. It's just you got the shop and that's it, your treasure. If, if, the, if that's the case, it's lost, then these 50,000, you don't have to pay the homes of it, add it to your capital of investment. So basically, what is this 20 or 25 percent? Let's say, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Let's say I have this book. I purchase. Okay. At the end of the year, I did not use it. So I have to pay the homes. How will you pay? Will you bring the scissor and cut the 20 percent of it and give it to say this is tiny says this is tiny, this is the homes of my book? Or how many pages are these? Let me see. Yeah, well, 200 pages. How, how much is the comps of 200? Let's say 20, 40 pages. So will I tear down these 40 pages, okay? And take it to the marja or wakil, tell them this is the comps of my book. No, that will be craziness. Technically, it's right, but then it doesn't have any value in it. And technically, in reality, it's craziness. So why, why would you tear this book? You said pay the homes of it, yes. How can I pay the homes of it? You're, you're going to pay the homes of its value in substitute, okay? But the homes is inside here, 20% 20, 20 like this, or 20 pages, the homes is inside this. Okay, you're going to pay the substitute. Okay, so this book was 100 euros. How much is the homes of it? 20 euros. Now pay attention. If you understood this, all the rulings are understood today. So that's why I've made this slide for you. So you understand. Why should I be paying homes 25% when homes is 20% is one over five, khamsa, homes. Why am, pay, why, why am I paying rubber one over 25, uh, one over four, like 25%? Why? Why am I paying extra 5%? I'll tell you why. Don't worry about it. This one, 100 euro. How much is homes? 20%. That means the value about 20 euros. Okay. So am I going to pay from this? No. I'm going to pay substitute because the value of this book is 100. So I'm not going to tear this down. I'm going to pay 20 euros on behalf of this area. Okay. So now comes these 20 euros. These should be comps paid. Comps paid. So if it was comps paid, then you just give 20 euro to the marja. Sayyidna, this is 20 euros, the comps of this book. It is from their comps paid money of last year, whenever you had comps paid money. That's number one. Number two option, you have collected all your wealth at the end of the year. So this book, you had some cash money, you had some, <clears throat> all the other things you collected, so there was about 500 euros as, as well. So 500 euros, 
plus this book added to it. So now there are 600 euros in total. Okay, let's say 400 euros and you had this 100. So these are 600 euros in total. So when you take out 100 euro, combining the money with this book, 100 euro, what is happening? Your 400 euros are comps paid. And among those 400 euros is your book. So that also is comps paid because you're paying the comps of money plus book. So whenever the money is with the material together and the money was more than the amount estimated to be homes, uh, estimated for the items, <clears throat> so you can pay the homes of it. You don't need to pay 25%. So number one, what was? Homes paid from the homes paid money. Number two, what was it? The there is money with the home with the with this book that needs to be homes that I combined it 400 euros this is 100 euro 500 how much is the homes of total 100 euro pay 100 euro finish you are done you don't need to tear the book down that is number two number three this book got lost got deteriorated I don't have it anymore so what happens the homes this focus on this is now on my shoulder the homes of this is now on my shoulder. So that is now like loan. And remember loan payment is part of the homes. It's not in my hand, book got burned, the book got lost, the book got stolen, the book got deteriorated. It's not in my, I don't have that book. So then I can cut from it, it's not in my hand. So the whole, the homes of, from the book has gone on my neck, my responsibility. So you pay 20 euro. Fourth option is, that you are going to pay from the money which has not been homsed. So you are going to pay 25%. What is the what is the 25% for? 25%. What is an amount which you take the whole it's a riddle now, a riddle time. What is the what is an amount if you take the homes out of it? Remaining are 20. 25, 25, how many fives are there in 25? Five fives are there in 25. Take the homes of 25. You take five out, remaining are 20. 20 is the homes of this book. And five is the amount if you take out, you will have 20 homes paid money. So 25 is how much is from 100? 25%. It is the robot. So rule of thumb. If you don't have any cash or any money to pay homes, and you have items at your home, rice, oil, dough, dough, flour, whatsoever remaining biscuits, it has value. So you need to pay the homes of it. So are you going to make quarter of, I mean, 20% uh, of oil and give it to say the Sistani as Wakil, or they're going to pay, take rice 20%. For your information, once upon a time, they used to do it. They used to give rice to the marja. They used to give flour to the marja. They used to give food items which are extra in their house. Okay, homes. But now, <clears throat> nobody does it. So what will you do? You are going to pay substitute. You don't have any money. Okay, you don't have enough money which can cover the homes of that item. So what you are going to do, and you don't have home paid money, you bought a car or a house, whatsoever. So you don't have anything except a few amount. <clears throat> so what will we do here? P pay the quarter, pay the quarter. Homes of homes, they call it. Homes of homes. So the rice and the flour and the oil, all these kind of calculate how much they are and just pay the 25%. 5% is, you take it out, remaining are 20%, which is the homes. So this is called homes of homes. That means homes. Like for example, my dress, I did not wear my dress for one year. Now homes is in my dress. So what will happen here? I can't cut like, uh, make a mini 
mini thobe or mini this dancer coming to my knees and I give the Sayyidi Sistani Sayyidina, this is the hopes of my thobe. Technically, <laughs> it's right. In reality, it's craziness, okay? It's craziness. Why would you tell me? So you will pay substitute, which is 25%. Or, as it is mentioned here, <clears throat> if you have item perished, let's say your dish dash disappeared, lost, got burned, whatsoever. So now it doesn't have any value. So the homes has gone on your shoulder. So item perished and the homes became debt. Homes converted to loan. I have homes I need to pay, but I don't have the payment of the homes. I have so many properties, but, but I need to sell them. So I tell the Sayyidi Sistani, Sayyidina, can you convert this to loan? So whenever I get, I pay. So once the Sayyidi Sistani says, okay, the homes has made a loan, then you just pay, have to pay 20% because it has gone on your shoulder. Or homes paid from already homes paid money. So these three cases, you pay 20%. But if not, then you pay 25%. Okay, now let's come back to our slide. Yes. I hope that is understood. We are going to apply that here. <clears throat> if the uh, end of the year comes, payday comes, and he did not pay the homes, he did not pay. So he's responsible for that. Thumma dafa'u. After that, he started paying it. Walau tadrijiyan. Even gradually. Min rib hassan al-thaniya. From the income of the second year. Lam yuhsab ma yadfa'u min al-mu'an. No. Why didn't you pay last year? You see? It will not be considered from his living expenses. Last year, where did your money go, which you, which you are supposed to do homes and you did not pay the homes? If it's still there, you can't pay the homes and, uh, from the next year. You have to pay the homes first and then. So he says, no, it got lost. Okay, then we can pay because it has converted into debt on your shoulder. So paying debt, as we said, it is part of the homes, uh, exempt from the homes. So if last year's money was available or it's substitute, gold or something like that purchase, then you can, uh, so, so, so if it was not there, you can exempt this year and you can pay homes without pay, needing to pay the homes of the homes. But if that is available and you want to pay from this, you have to pay the homes of homes, 25%. Because that is there. Again, I forgot to give you an example, usually what happens. People, they have dollars <clears throat> saved somewhere, or euros, or gold. They need to pay the homes of it. They have 10 shekels of gold, 10 mints. Two mints, they need to get it out. They don't want to get that out. They want to pay substitute. So this is what's going to happen. You pay the homes of homes, okay? You pay the 25% of its value. 20% is the homes, 5% is the, the homes of 20. Uh, when you take it out, 20% is remaining. So that is homes of homes. So basically, if you have it substitute, if you have those kind, you have $100,000, you don't want to break it, you want to use another currency and pay the homes, then this rule will of 25 will happen. Either you pay from the homes paid money or pay the homes of homes. Okay? Because you have gold there, you have dollars there, you have you don't want to break that amount. So if you all you can't, it's in an, another country. You can't give homes from there. You want to go give homes from this country. Let's say your your money was in the United States and you need to pay homes there, but you can't. So you will pay substitute. Whenever you pay substitute, that chart for uh, is it either homes paid or either homes of homes. <clears throat> yes. Same thing. The Marja religious authority converted a, a homes to a loan. And now you have to pay, now you have to pay the homes as loan. So that musalaha, no. You you can't you can't consider that uh, because you have money 
as long as you have money, you can't exempt the homes from the next year's income. You have it. If it is gets deteriorated, like we mentioned the first thing, lost, perished, deteriorated, then yes, you can, then it's on your shoulder. Then you have to pay off your loan from the uh, homes exempt money. So he says, إِلَّا إِذَا كَانَ عِوَضًا عَنْ خُمْسِ عَيْنٍ تَالِفًا Unless if it was, you did an agreement of, of uh, the marja converted the khums into your shoulder as a loan because the item was perished, not available in, in bold I've kept. However, if the replacement of the item to be khums was available, okay, from, the la from last year and its khums was not paid, and its homes, uh, so and its homes was uh, paid from the income of the next year, before taking the homes out of it, like next year's income. Then the homes of the item would also be considered from the profits of the next year. So that means you have to pay the homes of it. That is, thus its homes will uh, must be paid as well, as long as that item was not used for living next year, living expenses, okay, living uh, living needs. So. So therefore, double homes, homes of the homes of the uh, homes, homes of the item, and homes of the homes of the item, uh, if it was not used for living. So if it's used for living, that's fine. You don't have to pay homes of the homes. But if you do use, you don't use it for living. Just want to save, then you have to do homes of homes. Okay. <clears throat> when the payday homes payday comes. And he found out uh, some uh, some of them, some of the income he gained were uh, uh, profits. Uh, no, some of the profits were in the hands of other people. He had loaned out. And this is also different from Sayyid al Khoi. Okay? So it's not in my hand. It's in hand of somebody, I've loaned it out. They have to pay you back. If you are able to get it back anytime you want, okay, because that's the thing. The many loans, many banks, they don't give you. You have a fixed deposit after a certain time, so you can get it whenever you want. Or you have given to a person, he doesn't have anything to give it to you. So, so the loans are given either fixed time or either the guy says, I can give you whenever you want. Huh. <laughs> no, I don't want to keep it. I don't want to pay the homes of it. No, really, I can give it to you now if you want to. No, just keep quiet. I don't, don't say anything now. Come after my date is done, after I've passed my date of the... So now this guy can give you the homes, uh, the, their money back. So you have to pay the homes of it, even if you did not get it because you are able to get it back. So the ability is there. If the ability was not there, that's something else. So he says, فَإِنْ أَمْكَنَ إِسْيْفَاءُهُ If you are able to get it back, وَجَبَ دَفْعُ خُمْسِ Then you have to pay the khums of it. But I don't have the money. But you are able to or not. وَإِنْ لَمْ يُمْكِنْ If you are not able to, then what? Here Sayyid al-Khuy would say, you don't have to pay the khums of it. Because it's not under your possession now, control for a, for a certain amount of time. But say this is Tani gives you two options. When you are not able to get it back, you have an option. You wait next year if you get it, you pay the homes of it. So if he gets it back next year, is he will have to get the homes of it out, pay the homes of it. Because it is from the income of the previous year. So this is, though you got it now, you had given it previous year, but it was with you. So, so is it like as if you have kept in the bank and you have to pay the homes of it? In the, in the savings or something like that. So it was like a saving, you gave it to somebody to use. So it's like a saving. So it will be from for a previous homes due money. It was not this year's money. What does that mean? There's a technical thing. 
So it is from the past year's money. So pay the khums anyways. So if it would, if this was considered this year's money, this year's income, because I just got my money from last year given, I just got it this year. So some ulama will say, okay, wait until the end of the year. If it remains, pay the khums of it. If it doesn't remain, you don't have to pay the khums of it. Some ulama say, and I, I think if I'm not mistaken, Sayyid al Khui had the same thing. You see, if somebody gives you your money back in the middle of the year, it will be considered for the income of the year you received. That means you pay the khums at the end of the year if it's remaining. If it is used, no khums. Say this is Tani, no. He gives you two options. One option is if he gives you next year, then it will be from the income of the next year. That means next year, uh, it will, no, it will be from the income of the year you had it, you, you loaned it out. So anyways, you have to pay the khums of it. Anyways, because it's a khums due from last year. Sayyid al Khui, no khums due this year, because this year you are able to have control. Say this is Tani, no, you had it before, but you were not able to take the khums of it out. So now you are able to get the khums out of it. So do it. You got it now. So that is the difference. Say this is Tani considers it income of last year, because it was there. You saved it by, by loaning it out. Say al Khui, no, you loaned it out. You're not controlling it. So once you got it back, you got it controlled. It means like it's a new income coming into your uh, year this year. So at the end of the year, if it's remaining, pay homes. No, no pay homes. That say this is Tani, remaining, no remaining, pay the homes of it. And not at the end of the year, immediately, because you got it. فَإِذَا اسْتَوْفَاهُ أَخْرَجَ خُمْسَهُ وَكَانَ مِنْ أَرْبَاحِ السَّنَةِ السَّابِقَةِ You take the homes of it out. And it would be considered from the last year's remaining income. La min not this year's income. So this is one option, say this Sistani gives you. Another he gives you, how much in reality these loans are uh, worth of. Same year. The first option I gave you, next year, whenever you get after three years, four years, once you get paid the homes of it. This he says, no, pay this year. <laughs> pay the homes of it this year. How much is your loan? 100,000 euro? Okay, pay 20,000 if you are able to. Next year, if they give it back to you, so whatever extra, okay, will be the, uh, the, the income of the remaining of the, uh, the, the year of the uh, regaining the loan, okay? So he says here, on the, I pay the homes of it. Therefore, if he got his loan money back next year, then the extra amount of homes paid over the estimated amount would be considered from the profits of the year he got his money back, okay? So, so that 20% that he got, he got, uh, he got 100,000, okay? Now, 20,000 was paid last year. So 80,000 is homes paid. You see, in advance, he paid 80, 20,000. So 80,000 is homes paid, but he got 100,000. So this 20,000, which was substitute of the homes already paid, is going to be from the income of this year, so you will have to pay the homes of 20,000, which is 4,000 uh, euro. Last one, homes. Now this is also a very important ruling. Once you get your income, homes is fixed on it. But the Islamic legislative system gives you some time, okay, later on, okay, fix later on, uh, uh, pay the homes of it. Use it in your income, use it in your living expenses, this and that. At the end of the year, then pay the whatever is remaining, then you have to pay that. So here, since the, like I got salary, 1,000 euro, the homes becomes fixed on it. So if I pay now, finish, my homes is paid. So I, my 800 is paid. Now I, I will be using from the 800 and it will be going down and down. But Sharia says, no, you don't have to do that. Yes, the homes is fixed on 1,000, but I'm giving you the right permission to use this 1,000. 
in your expenses, living expenses. And at the end of the year, pay the 20% of it, okay? Uh, take out the 20% of whatever remaining. So if you pay the khums in the beginning, it's okay. But Sharia gives you some leniency. So this is what he says here, okay? Yata'allaq uh, al khums, the khums becomes obligated instantly as the, uh, the income is gained, even though it is permissible to delay its payment as a precautionary measure to use precautionary, not religious precautionary, no, your precautionary. Maybe you'll fall short in your money. If you pay the homes, maybe you will, you will, you will, you will, it will, it will not cover your annual expenses. So, so the, uh, so the Sharia says cover your annual expenses. Then whatever remaining, because take precaution. Maybe if you'll pay homes now, maybe you'll need, and you don't have that money. In those extra you paid like 20,000 euro if you pay 4,000 euro now. So uh, you might need this 4,000 euro in the year. So take your time. At the end of the year, just... Uh, so uh, precautionary measures to, uh, to use it in the living expenses. Therefore, if it was deteriorated and not used in the living expenses, let's say this 1,000 euro salary, you got it, it got deteriorated. Similarly, if used in extravagant, so it got stolen. Uh, you used it in lux luxurious things which are not suitable for you. Or gifting or buying or selling in a way that the gift that gifting me was meaningless, unnecessary, the buying and selling was not in accordance to his status, then the homes would be homes would not be exempt from all such. So that's why whatever you waste money, you have to pay the homes of it. Homes is on it. You don't say, I'm going to get rid of the homes so I don't, uh, money so that I don't have to pay the homes. Like many crazy people, they do that. Oh, let me buy this, let me buy this, let me buy this. Are you buying for your needs and necessity or just buying, buying to not to pay the homes? So the, no, so with, I don't want to pay the homes. You're crazy. You are going to get rid of all your 10,000 euro to not to pay homes. Uh, instead of just giving 4,000 euro and secure your 6,000 euro. That's, many times I see people, they do like crazy stuff. Mail guide them, I mean, it's really crazy. No, you know, I'll have to pay the homes of it. So what is this, a burden? You have to, you have to get rid of it? Uh, a, a nasty uh, wife, you want to get divorced, just get it out of your life? What is this? It's a blessed money. It's, a, it's Allah blessed you with na'ma income. So. Wait, don't, because if you put in extra, just to get rid of the homes, you have to pay the whole homes of 10,000 euro, for 2,000 euro, I mean, 2,000 euro, you have to pay anyways, because you used it not for your needs. So just pay 2,000 and keep that 8,000 secure. Wa sallallahu ala Muhammad wa alihi tahiri. Allahumma salli ala